I'd say this environment is inhospitable to life. The Atacama Desert is the driest place on Earth. There are parts that haven't received rain in decades, if ever. This is such unforgiving terrain. It's like scary. I don't see a flag. I'm just battered. My feet are beat up. The Atacama Extreme is 100 miles of the most unforgiving ultramarathon on the planet. It's okay. It's the altitude. I imagine it's not going to actually be such a pounding on my body rather than it's going to be on my mind. Everything is in so much pain. I'm falling apart. This is a pretty rugged 100 miler. Basically going to be running on any kind of terrain that the Atacama Desert has. There's seven checkpoints within the race course. They're about 20 kilometers apart each. It's an opportunity to restock or perhaps it's a spot to bail out. It's here around San Pedro de Atacama. We're going to experience it in a 100 mile journey tomorrow. Uh, race morning, just getting the gear together. Slept with, it, uh, slept with everything prepared. I'm an obstacle racer. I run obstacles. The furthest I've ever run is about 38 miles. It's about a marathon and a half. So this is all new territory. Ultra racing, it's all about pace. You have to go out at a pace that you can handle. If you go out too fast, you're gonna burn up later. Oh, look how cool this is. This dog's, this dog's come him. with us from the start. He's gonna do the whole hundred. His name's Tommy. Tom Tom! Hunter's <laughs> running, hanging with Rory there. I'd go slower, maybe you'll surprise us. Coming into checkpoint one, I've started making up ground and I just passed Hunter. Is that Rory down there? Yep. Hola. Way to go, Hunter! Turbo's flying. I think I'm going to hear him explode from miles away. Dude, I've already got horrible chafage in my butt. I've had to stop, take off my underwear. We're having a great time. I'm feeling much better. I feel comfortable, and that's always my goal. Uh, temperature's great right now. The game changers when the sun's at noon and we'll see who went out too hard. I've got my suspicions of a few names. Now that I've stopped running, the whole chain of my body is just kind of collapsing in and on itself. What I'm gonna do at this point is basically run 10 minutes and then walk 10 minutes. We're now 23 miles into the race, and we just passed Turbo. We're about to drop into the infamous Salt Flats. A little less than 10 miles across. The best and hardest is definitely yet to come. You know, we're getting into the heat of the day here. This is where things are really gonna start getting real. Everything is just so much pain. I just hit the 40 mile mark. This is the furthest I've ever run. So itchy and leg. Oh. This is really. Maybe I should just bow out. I should pull out, just give everyone a high five, support the rest of the team. But then I have this ego coming through my head. Don't be a pussy. You can just get out of this, and we're gonna pass everybody else. It's just gonna come back to you. <laughs> you can't fake a 100 miler. I just miss my kids. 